Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her and Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Oh, happy birthday, Sagittarius. I know it's your season now. I hope you all enjoy. Most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Please and thank you. I think it's involved that I just heard. Involved or evolved. Um, the Queen of Cups is coming out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is love energy, mothering energy, nurturing energy. Okay? Consoling that I said. That's what I'm hearing. Closing out some type of cycle. Messages. The Four of Cups. That could be the energy of rejection. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. I feel like this is a person who feels rejected by the person that they love. Hmm. Okay, the Pi High Priestess card is coming out. Pisces energy, following on intuition, receiving some type, receiving some type of um, down downloads, following your intuition. Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Someone feels tongue tied. Like you feel like you could barely speak. So this might be an energy of silence or not being spoken to. More messages for Sagittarius. Or vice versa. Like you're not speaking to someone, someone not speaking to you, however it is. More messages. Please have this here, yes, please, and thank you. We have the page of wands. I feel like someone's been working hard. You've been oh maybe it may be a um an energy of overworking yourself. <clears throat> exhausted all right the page of wands is in the offer this could be you you younger than someone else someone younger than you um aries leo sagittarius energy seven of wands at the bottom of the deck leo energy um feeling guarded protecting yourself here's your energy going in and it could be like ready to get away or just in and out energy impulsive energy impulsive behavior but let's see more messages for the sign of sagittarius what's in the center of your reading hurt there it is I just said, someone feels betrayed, <clears throat> not betrayed, rejected, rejected by the one that they love. Strength card at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. Could be a Libra. More messages. <clears throat> For Sagittarius, we have the Nine of Pentacles, being single. Following your intuition about being single or doing something alone. I heard something about uh, harm's way, keeping out of harm's way. Or... Or someone keeping you out of harm's way, or vice versa. The Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Love, but I'm just, I heard insecurities. More messages for Sagittarius. I need some water. Let me drink some water real quick. Bro. More messages for Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's time for someone to speak up, uh, speak your truth, <clears throat> or someone is un or feels like they're unable to speak their truth to you. All right, there it is, the Hermit card, going with the prayer and meditation, pulling back, falling back, the Knight of Pentacles underneath that. Slow motion energy, slow motion, but for show motion, right? Things will happen. Things will take off eventually. Some way, somehow, the Three of Cups are is in reverse. <clears throat> Ooh. I feel like someone finds it hard to follow their heart. And there's the energy of being afraid. <clears throat> hidden wisdom, hidden knowledge, more messages for Sagittarius. Two of Wands taking a different approach. Uh, pulling back from friends. Maybe being involved with people you shouldn't be involved with. Causing some type of heartbreak and pain. No. No, look. Okay, this is a person who's pulling back from people that they used to be involved with. Doing things on your own. You, yep, you have this intuition about um, doing something on your own. Maybe it has something to do with business your work your finances her restructuring so 
my hands is itching. So it could have something to do with finances, right? An opportunity to do something on your own. You pull back from those who you used to work with. Whoever you used to be involved with with this three of cups in reverse. Yeah, because it seems like at one point in time, you just wanted to do it with these people, with this person. And your, uh, your intuition, your divine knowledge... It was telling you, no, this is something you should be doing on your own. Pull back. Adjust. Something's not right about the people that you were involved with or something. Or, um, like I said, you were de denying yourself, denying your truth, denying your heart. Uh, avoiding this energy of following yourself. Mm. New beginnings with the uh, full card. Taking a leap of faith. The full of swords at the bottom of the deck. Taking a break. Two of Swords, Indecisive Energy. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you were afraid to move on. Yep, there is some type of worry and doubt. Let's get more messages, Edge. But we do have a new beginning here. What's the Queen of Cups? What's the Queen of Cups, please? And thank you for Sagittarius. What's the Queen of Cups? <clears throat> The Nine of Cups. That's self-love. Loving yourself. Um, loving yourself enough to be able to be open up to be open to another. <clears throat> Allowing another in. Yeah, the, the King of Cups is back at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's excuse me. There's an energy of true love. It's something about honesty and compassion. So there was some type of hurt involved, of course, with this three of swords. <clears throat> Maybe it's about having that honesty and compassion towards yourself or another. Or another. What's the four of cups? Uh-huh. Right. Take me back to denying it yourself. Because it makes sense again with the five of cups on top of the four of cups. Back to the nine of cups energy. Loving yourself. But it was like there at one point in time you rejected or denied that at some point in time. The ace of swords is truth and clarity, honesty, five of pentacles. You felt there was a lack there of energy without something. Something, so I won the chariot card moving forward. Five of wands in the midst of competition. What's the high priestess or not caring about what others have to say? What's the high priestess, please? And thank you. Silence. It's silence. It is silence. Taking a break. Pulling back. King of Pentacles. Finances. A big change in finances. Something that you are afraid to happen, but it's bringing transformation. But not just finance. We have a, a relationship, a connection. Someone was confused about a connection. But it was about loving yourself first in order to see it, to recognize it, in order for them to recognize you. What's the page of wands? <clears throat> someone was lying also. What's the page of wands? Maybe like whether it was you deceiving someone else or someone deceiving you or you dece deceiving yourself. What's, it's the ten of cups on top of the page of wands. Maybe a younger person was offering you, offering you some type of wish fulfillment. This could be a child. Hold on, wait. I have a few different messages right there. It's like a child that was bringing, bringing some type of happiness in a relationship or... Okay, for some people... This is not for all people, remember, because, of course, everyone won't feel this way. Some people won't even really accept what I'm about to say. Someone thought bringing in a child or a child was going to bring in wish fulfillment into this relationship or into a relationship, okay? Oof, someone realizes that it's bringing a child into a relationship that may have been, um, there was a lack of structure maybe. Okay, so it wasn't quite secure. There was an energy. Okay, someone was still learning themselves. And I feel like someone brought in a child or something into the situation. Thinking it would make it better, but it really didn't. That's not for everyone, right? Anyways, the other thing that I was saying is that 
someone younger than you approaches you and with maybe with maybe an idea or a creative spark that brings in this happiness or wish fulfillment, um, brings you this idea for you to be able to move forward. Let's see what else is going on. What's the three of swords? Well, someone rejected um, an energy maybe from, from another, a younger person, because I feel like it's a younger person. Whether it was you that, that was the younger person or someone else that could have been rejected, denied, and that brought in some type of hurt and pain. That's the source of the truth, so it may be the truth. That's what it was. Yeah, someone turned their back, looking for something else. Five of Wands, it caused some type of uh, uh, rift, fight, arguments, competition, other people being involved. Maybe someone was worried about haters, naysayers, or other being involved, others being involved in this situation. Whatever is going on, Sage. Um, here's the inspiration and manifestation from healing. All right, so it could be like a man. Yep, there it is. I just said something was wasn't quite on a stable foundation. But I feel like someone realizes that they have to, or there was more, you had to learn more about yourself, love yourself more, know your self-worth, independence, realizing some type of independence or whatever, self-worth, to create, to create a structure or a stable foundation. All right, um, what's the nine of pentacles? The seven of cups, confusion, illusions. Being unsure, feeling like you didn't. Someone didn't see opportunities with being alone, being free, being set free. Someone felt like they had to be in a family, have a family, always be involved with others, have a connection. It's a codependent energy, honestly, to feel some type of um, wish fulfillment, okay? Someone... This is about finding yourself, um, being happy with who you are, realizing how many opportunities you have, regardless who's involved, who's around you. Um, there was, there is, or was a, an energy of confusion, not knowing what to choose, not wanting to choose with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, indecisiveness. Yeah, instead, who? Instead of trying, instead of finding true wish fulfillment within yourself and then bringing it together with another person, this is like a story of someone hearing that statement of "you complete me." So it's like someone found completion in another person, but it wasn't there. Okay, the this is this is a realization of wow, my completion doesn't come within another person; it actually comes from within me, within me. Because if these people pull away from me, who I used to celebrate with, have fun with, or I don't feel good about these people, however it is, if you decide to do something differently without these individuals, you still have to feel complete within yourself. Um, what's the three of cups in reverse? The Seven of Wands, creating boundaries, not giving up. The Sun card, Leo energy. Happiness, happiness, peace, and contentment. But I heard Pratt. Um, what's the two? Of, okay, wait. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to. What's the Pratt energy? I feel like I, I have to say something else to that or about that. The Seven of Wands on top of this Three of Cups in reverse gives me the energy of, oh yeah, of, of okay, yeah, I have to block these people out. They're not right for me. Or that something is off about the situation. I need to pull back from these individuals, right? Or you may have blocked out some type of happiness because of these people. Could have been third-party energy. Someone could have blocked out a connection, anything, whatever it was. Connection, business, venture, whatever it is. Because of the people that were around you, around you, surrounding you, it was making things kind of um, harder, tougher. What's the two of wands? Even though you never gave up on yourself and those people, we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles coming out, slow motion, but for show motion, we have the what's this? The Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck is watching, learning. What the Five of Pentacles is underneath that, realizing that something is missing. 
realizing that something is missing i feel like a person is moving towards their abundance fertility something new maybe towards an emperor's energy or emperor's energy is deciding to move forward what's the full card the knight of pentacles no king of pentacles excuse me with the word card at the bottom of the deck closing out a cycle wait you remember I said something about creating that four of wands energy? I didn't say four of wands, but I said a structure. A balanced and secure structure. Something that's built on a stable foundation. The emperor card is here. And then annoying. Willing to fight. And there's the queen of pentacles. So it seems like someone's willing to fight for a stable structure. Okay, someone's finding some um, security within them, within themselves before they find security within another to be able to create some type of foundation that you're looking for. Okay, new beginning is security, commitment, progressing. What's the Ace of Swords? Something about you having to fight to get out of this energy. What's this? The Page of Cups. Opening up to something new. Healing and opening up to something new. Mm, but yep, there you are. At the bottom of the deck with the temperance card, bringing in some type of balance and harmony. Being patient with yourself. Like I said, having compassion with yourself, others. Being open to something new. Someone... The truth is like a new beginning is possible. A new beginning is here. It could be a child involved with the Page of Cups. Um, a younger person involved. However it is. Um, I'm going to move on to get an Oracle. I feel like it's kind of a cliffhanger. Let me see something else. I am going to pull this out real quick. Um, anything else that I need to give or say to the sign of a Sagittarius before I get out of here. There's a chariot card moving forward, pushing forward. There's cancer energy also. The sun card. And then we have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Or someone was, is avoiding moving forward because it flipped over in reverse as I, as I just did that. But we have the lover's card and the two of cups. So some type of soulmate connection, divine soulmate connection. What's the chariot card? The Emperor card and the World card, a masculine energy coming to or pushing to or going towards or whatever they're doing to close out these cycles or maybe close out, to close the gap between maybe you and another person. The Strength card, having the strength to communicate, to progress, to move forward. Maybe they had something to do with your past, working on that. Let's see, what's the Sun card for Sagittarius? Because I have the Sun card. For the sign of Sag, we have the Five of Wands. There's that fight. Um, could be more Leo energy, though. We have the Empress. So this is beautiful, though, how this is falling out. I feel like it was something else I needed to tell you all, Sag. So it could be some type of union going on. Five of Wands. This Empress gets a lot of attention, maybe, or has a lot of suitors coming after this person. This could be you. The Emperor card... The emperor part person, divine masculine person, is like ready to, like I said, close the gap. The ace of cups and the ace of pentacles is new beginnings after a burdensome cycle. Something that can lead to wish fulfillment and abundance, legacy, empire type of energy, right? So what is the emperor? The ace of wands, new beginnings and creativity, someone not wanting to give up. Someone was dealing with some hard choices or situations. Lower vibrational energies with that devil card. What's the world card? Closing out the energy of fear. It's being in fear. Going towards this ten of pentacles energy or being blessed with that. Some way, somehow I feel. After facing, some, facing the fears or going through the darkness. What's the empress card? So we have success here also with the five of wands and the ace of wands the queen of wands there you are so this could be you with this empress card the six of swords someone moving forward okay so this could be a message of love to, to push things 
Yeah, message of love to push things forward to close out a painful cycle. What's the moon, moon card for Sagittarius? The death card. Change and transformation. I feel like someone decided not to give up. Even though you were faced with a lot of challenging times and temptations and lower vibrational energy, you decided not to give up on yourself and, and allowed yourself to go through this transformation, through this change. Maybe through Scorpio season that just passed, you went through a lot of mental um, changes, thought patterns. Um, I feel like a lot of downloads were coming in for you all Sagittarius, excuse me. And you went through some sort of change, like I said. What's the death card? Could be a Scorpio though. Every this stuff that I'm saying is true. Someone's thinking about like marriage. Okay? Someone has realized this is what Wow, I said that. I said that it may be people around you or surrounding a person that kept the situation blocked off. Or something blocked from a person, from an individual, and they feel like they had to pull back from certain people, right? In order to get to this wish fulfillment. Here we are with the Four of Wands, Three of Wands, someone seeing their ships come in as some type of justice, which, like I said, with these two cards together gives me the energy of marriage and commitment. Someone decides that, okay. Maybe I do deserve, deserve or maybe I should go into this energy of having something real and true. Building something real, okay? It's like a breakdown of that seven of wands. It is. This is what someone desires now after a transformation. Funny how these cards came out like that. And what's the justice card? Like I said, it could be a Libra involved. Someone putting in some type of work with the eight of pentacles that was at the bottom of the deck. What's the justice card? Can I have the justice card? And then we'll move on if it's not a major card. Two of Cups. Who's getting married to out there, Sag? Congratulations. That's all I got to say to this reading. Congratulations. If it's not happening now, I feel like you're moving towards this. The Queen of Swords. Someone realize, yeah, it's knowledge that comes to a person after going within, after pulling back. Something... It revealed itself. The will of fortune change coming to you all. So yeah, that's what's up. That's a beautiful connection right there. I do want to pull um, an oracle real quick, and then we out here. What message do you have for the sign? Of Sagittarius. More messages, or can I get one good message for the sign of Sagittarius before leaving? Improvement. Message for the sign of Sagittarius. That's the word I just heard. So, you know, when I'm channeling the messages, I'll just let you all know. Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, when I was um, about to get into your energy. I was I didn't quite get into it, but I said Sagittarius is who I'm going to do next or whatever. And the song that I heard was Baby You My Everything. How he said, no, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm gonna try to say it the best way possible. Baby you my everything, you all I ever wanted. We can do a real big, big bigger than you ever done it. So something like that. So it, that could have something to do with y'all uh, reading because it was a connection. And it was probably the best you ever had, they ever had, whatever. And then we have success right there as I'm cutting it back as I was seeing it. Um, let's finish this reading. I mean, let's finish this off though. Most important message for the sign of Sagittarius. Adventures. And then we have healing chaos at the bottom of the deck. So you all going through some type of healing, like I said. Open this underneath that. Let's read Adventures. It says, Something exciting is around the corner. You are entering a new frontier filled with expansive energy. Begin to look at your world in new and different ways. Something that you thought was mundane or someone whom you may have overlooked will open the door 
to new opportunities in a bigger and bolder way of living. Be willing to see the world around you in new ways. Don't be lulled into compl complacency. And I feel like I'm saying this word wrong. But I'm going to move forward because I could be saying the word, word, word wrong, but I don't care. Complacency. I think that's how I'm saying it. I think I'm saying the word. Whatever. Sag, <laughs> this card appears when you're ready to remove your blinders and take action so life doesn't become stagnant and lackluster. It also can signify incredible spiritual attunement and spiritual voyage, voyages. So, that was your reading, Sag. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you all next time. Bye.